In this video, I'm going to talk about the Gabby Petito case. There's so much footage and content about this case on the internet that I hardly knew what to talk about since there's so much information. But first I want to ask anyone who's new to this channel to subscribe, like, comment and share. And uh, maybe you can put on the notification bell. You can switch it to all so you won't miss any new videos or premieres. Sometimes I do premieres in which I speak about whatever subject, possibly in the future about Gabby Petito's case. We can discuss facts in that way live together. So today we're going to take this clip and talk about this particular clip only and I'll be hopefully making more videos about Gabby Petito but for now we're going to focus on this clip. Um, in this clip we see the neighbors of Gabby Petito and they have some interesting facts to tell about um, Brian Laundrie and his parents. So they are the neighbors of Brian Laundrie's parents. So I will play the clip now and I'll talk a little bit about it afterwards. Okay. Caroline and William Guthrie live right across the street from the laundry home where Brian and Gabby were living before they went on this trip with Brian's parents and they join me now. Um, Charlene and William, thank you very much for being here. I know you moved there at the beginning of the summer, um, but you're literally across the street. What did you observe when Brian returned from the trip and you saw that white van that had belonged to Gabby in the driveway? didn't know it was Gabby. We didn't, we just assumed it was his van. Um, we just thought they had come back from wherever. We didn't know they were on a trip. Um, we just assumed they were moved, went back to their house or wherever they had gotten the house, wherever they were. Um, we didn't know much about them at all. I had nothing at all, actually. Um, and they just came back home. We thought she was in the house sure. with the parents or mother or whatever. I'm going to pause for a second because now we see some footage of Brian Laundrie's and Gabby Petito's van that was spotted by somebody else who was also camping in that area. So they're not going to discuss this particular footage, but uh, I might discuss it in another video. So just so you know that this clip is not about this white van clip. So moving on. Whatever, and that was pretty much it. I mean... So after that, the, the FBI came and took that van away. Um, you saw Brian and his dad working on one of their campers in the driveway. Charlene, can you tell me about that? Um... I actually didn't. My husband saw that. I I didn't really witness. Okay, so I William, mean, what did you see in the driveway? Yeah. yeah, well, I, I, uh, I was doing some work in the front yard, and, you know, I noticed that they got got a new uh, a camper for the back of the pickup, and uh, I didn't think anything on you. So, we see that part here. Here you see the part that goes on the truck, if you can see my mouse. Here's the part that goes on the truck. Here's the truck. I never knew these type of campers even existed, that you can put the part on the truck. That's very interesting to me. It's also very small for three people, but we'll get into that later in the clip. We're continuing. Usual, you know, they got a new uh, camper, so they wanted to uh, put their own touch uh, inside of it. I saw them doing some work. Um, uh, and um, then when they prepared for their trip, I, I saw them loading the camper. Now you're talking about Brian and his parents after he returned home, is that correct? In a different camper? Yes. The, okay. uh, the van is, this, is his, 
uh, his father has a uh, pickup truck, which they purchased a uh, in-bed camper. Like an attachment and, camper. Uh, so, and then you say yes. that they packed up that camper, Brian and his mom and dad, and they went camping. Do you know that for sure? I'm sorry, but I, I just wanted to say that I'm very curious whether these neighbors have any um, cameras on their houses because then we would see when Brian left the house or went into the house. I have my own opinions about that, but that will come later in another video or maybe in this video. We'll continue. Uh, we, we saw them, uh, I saw them loading it up and so I assume they were preparing for it you know, a, a camping trip with their they, new camper. They were going for the weekend. Yes. Yeah, so how yeah, long was, after was how a, long it, after he got back, um, you know, alone in that white van, um, how long after that was this, when you saw them working on this other camper and getting ready to go away together? Yeah, I, I can't remember, uh, you know, the week, dates. Week and a half. Yeah, we... Uh, probably, yeah, probably week, week and a half. I agree with that. So yes. did, did the police ever talk to you about what you saw, about you saw the parents and Brian working on this new camper and then leaving for a few days? Did they ask you about that? I, I believe that we did give them uh, that information. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we the, did tell them that they had gone on a camping trip for three days yes. for the weekend. Did yeah. you think did there was anything that. unusual yes. about that? Well, uh, to after me, after we knew they were missing, yeah. yeah. After Gabby was missing, yeah, when they came to our house on Saturday night a yeah. week ago and told us they were working a missing persons case, yeah. Then, and uh, yeah, also, also, which struck me as odd as I spoke to my wife about is that um, uh, the parents going on a trip. I could see that, but taking their 23-year-old son in a small camper that's on the back of the truck struck us as odd. Yeah, I have to agree. I mean, um, a young adult is most likely not wanting to go on trips with his parents, first of all. And second of all, I don't think a young adult would choose to go in a small camper like this. So the other possibility is, of course, that his parents took him somewhere. So he didn't go on a trip with them. That's, in my opinion, um, the most likely scenario. And that is also when he vanished, I think, after this, after this um, so-called trip. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, well, that's very interesting. Thank you both very much for, for being with us. Charlene and William You're Guthrie, yes. observing all of this. I'm sure it's yes. very shocking uh, from across the street of the laundry home. It's been Thank a you. Yeah, yeah. I, I can imagine. Um yeah. What is there to say about this clip? Like I said, I really think he went with them and never came back. So as you noticed, I talked about it in the middle of the video sometimes and not at the end. I'm sorry for that. I just was scared that I would forget the facts. So I'll do another video. I'm probably going to film it after this and I'll be taking you through some footage on the internet and possible theories about this case and what I think about this case and um, I just want to take a minute to say that I find it so sad and um, another life is gone, just like that. And um, I want to wish Gabby's parents, relatives, um, friends, acquaintances, um, colleagues, everyone so much strength in this time because we always talk about uh, how how terrible it is for the parents and siblings but I think we forget um, the ripple effect of such a crime it affects the whole community around a person that was murdered and 
And I think even the people you went to elementary school with or to kindergarten, kindergarten with, they will all hear about this case. Their lives will be affected by this case simply because they have known her. And yeah, just the people that were close to her, it's unthinkable. I cannot even imagine what they feel. Um, I'm just heartbroken by this case and I, yeah, I will, I will tell you about my thoughts in the next video about some other facts and I hope everyone, oh, the screen is getting a little darker. Um, yeah, I just hope they find him very, very soon. I hope he did not end his life because I think that wouldn't do any justice to Gabby, her parents and everyone who is affected by this case. Um, I hope he's found alive. Um, and then we have to see if he tells the truth. That will be very unlikely, but we don't know. So I'll see you in the next video, which will be soon, I hope. I only have this weekend to film. Uh, so I didn't really have time, so, but I did want to make some videos about this because I'm so, so invested in it. So I'll see you very soon and take care for now. Bye bye.